Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another palettes we all forgot about video and this one is going to be on the Jaclyn Hill Vault Ring the Alarm palette. So um, if you don't know what this series is or if you're new to my channel, I take a palette that used to be really hyped up whether that be on trend mood or just on a YouTube trend and it was so cool in its day and then it kind of got overshadowed by new releases. That is what we're doing. So I have a whole playlist and I link that down below. I take so many palettes. I've done Born to Run. See, I've done Armed and Gorgeous, which is another one in the set of four. I have done multiple Tarte palettes, uh, um, in multiple ABH palettes, other Urban Decay palettes. Like I've done a lot and they are just so fun, especially right now. It's so important to just revisit what you have in your collection rather than going out and just buying a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and yeah, we're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. So let's go ahead and get started. So with these videos, I will always talk about it, tell you the price, um, and then go through swatches and stuff. So this palette retails for $15. It's very warm toned. We got a nice red, some like yellowy orangey golds, nice browns. It's kind of like the Urban Decay Naked palette on steroids. <laughs> like it, it's much more warm toned than the Urban Decay Na Naked palette in my opinion. You will, right now, um, when I'm filming this, it is April 30th. And so um, it is so common right now for Morphe to have a ton of sales. So if you are signed up for their email blasts, you will see lots of good deals. So if you are in the in the market for a Morphe palette, go check that out. I would definitely recommend it. Look at this though, it's so beautiful. All the vault palettes do come with a mirror. The um, original volume one did not. I have a review on the volume two, as well as like a little over a year ago, I did a whole series using like one look with each palette in the vault collection. So we're gonna go through swatches. They each have 10 eyeshadows. I did have a couple issues with some swatches, but yeah, let's go through swatches. The first row we have Lolly, Rush, On Camera, Boom, and Alert. The second row is Bomb Ass, what? <laughs> Siren, Mugshot, Framed, and Secret. Nice little palette if you want to kind of experiment with warm tones, this might be it. It's a nice size too, and that's what I like about the Vault palettes because a lot of the Morphe palettes are just so big. You know, they have 35 colors, they have 39 colors, and really, if you want to travel, you can just throw one of these in here or you can bring a couple. And that's what's really great about them. So there you go. Okay, we're just going to go hop in right into the palette and do a look with it. I feel like I'm saying this in like every video, but I need to do a brush cleaning. It's it's definitely a necess necessity right now. <laughs> I'm like two weeks away from like being done with school and I could not be more excited. So we're going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH32 brush, which looks like this came out with the vault collection, I think. Did it? I can't remember. But I'm gonna go into Rush, which is this one right here. I think these are a great size for travel because you can just, you know, open it up and do the look. I have also primed my eyes with just some concealer. I will sometimes use MAC Paint Only Paint Pot, but I did a full face and I just thought, you know what? We're doing some concealer. I'm really finding that these are really blending nicely. And I know there were some issues with this pet, with this launch and whatnot, we know. But mine don't swatch too bad. I did have issues with Framed and Secret. Those two were just a little like, what? That's, that's odd. But all the rest were pretty good. And you can just kind of tell like these are pretty good. They're not really skipping or doing anything along those lines. I also really like these orangey warm tones. I feel like they complement brown eyes really nicely. So that's that. Oh, I got some dry skin on my nose. Ugh, I hate that. If you are curious about the makeup that I'm wearing today, it is uh, listed down below. I always do, do that. I always list the makeup that I'm wearing, no matter if I'm doing a tutorial or not. It's always listed, so. I definitely need some lip stuff, so I'm gonna go grab a lip smackers. <laughs> I'm gonna use the strawberry lip smackers. I think it kinda goes in with the whole like warm tone theme. 
I think this was like, this is just like the original Lip Smacker sh scent. Do you guys agree? I feel like this is the one I really like remember. Yeah, after I put on makeup, sometimes I'm like, oh my, my lips are really dry. <laughs> so now we're gonna go in a little bit smaller brush. I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics one. This came in the BH um, Festival palette, Festival brush set. That's like one of my favorite sets of brushes ever. Seriously. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of framed, which is, it's like a dark, like warm tone purple. It doesn't look too purple. Hmm. You know, it looks a little purple, but it is, it's pretty purple. It's a really nice warm toned one. I'm just going to apply this to the um, outer corner part of my eye and then blend it out. So I do like a little pat and then blend. And I'm just, I'm just kind of blending it right in the crease here, not trying to interfere with the orange that we originally used. So just doing the same motion, patting, and then blending it out. That gives it such a beautiful look. Oh my goodness, I love it. Go on the lower lash line with a little bit of Alert. It's, like a little, it's a little deeper than Rush. So this is Rush, this is Alert. Kind of experiment. This is also a Jaclyn Hill... Morphe brush. This is the JH42. It looks kind of like a Morphe brush that I already own. This is a nice size for the lower lash line. For me, I don't really like to uh, overcompensate or anything like that. Like I don't really like to bring it down too low, but I like having a little something on my lower lash line for sure. There we go. I'm going to deepen it up just a touch with Siren. This is like a like a reddish purple. It does have a little bit, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but it just has a little tiny bit of like gold shimmer sheen. No, something like that. But we're going to take that and we're going to apply it to the outer part of my lash line. Kind of like that. Just deepening it up a bit. Kind of um, blending it, kind of focusing right here and then bringing it out. You want to take this red shade and kind of put it on the lid. I don't want to look too crazy. <laughs> I'm going to first go in with Boom, though. This is like a nice coppery bronzy. It's so soft. But it's not so soft where it'll just like break apart or just turn into powder. And I'm applying that on like the outer part of my lid. But I'm still leaving room where we put that frame shade. I'm not completely covering that up, if you know what I mean. Okay. And I'm just applying this with my fingers. Sometimes I feel like that's the best way to apply some shadow. Still had some left, we still had some leftover too. And then I'm gonna take bomb ass. I feel weird saying that, like, I don't know. But this, this is like red, and we're gonna apply this on the part where we did not apply the boom shade. <laughs> How was up? Okay, <laughs> feel a little crazy right now. I think I'm going to build up this eye just a little more. But again, I don't want to be too intense. The only like thing I'm not really too pleased with this palette about is that there's no lighter shade. You know, lighter as in like a brow bone shade or anything like that. So for this, maybe I'll dig into a different one. I've noticed, I've noticed that with quite a few of the palette, these vault palettes, that... They don't really have a good brow bone shade. And I, when the Armed and Gorgeous look, I'll link that down below. I did use the VIP shade. This is a super frosty white shade. I don't really want to use that. I'd love to stay like on par with the Jaclyn Hill Vault kind of series. Um, there's the shade Poof. I'll do a video with just this one, but mm, that's a little too beige. Yeah, it like blends with my skin. I want something kind of like a little lighter than my actual skin tone. Maybe we'll go in with volume two. Um, again, like I said, I have a review on this. I do like swatch all of the colors and everything. We're gonna go in with Certified, which is this one. It's a nice matte, creamy color. It doesn't really have like an undertone of either pink or yellow, but we are just popping that in the brow bone. And then I'm just popping that on the inner part of the eye too, just because this red is like super intense and I don't want it to like close up my eye or anything. That is something that you really want to do. You still want to keep 
your eyes bright and open. So there we go. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the J Cat Rock and Glitz Diamond Dazzle Liquid Liner in the shade Tuxedo Mask, which is just black. It's just a nice brush tip applicator. So we're going to do that. And I don't know, should I do a wing? Should I not do a wing? I don't know. Ooh, I got some fallout. Should have light brushes off sooner, but we'll see if it stains, I guess. Ooh, your girl's got to exfoliate. a little wing i didn't want to go like super duper intense or anything like that i don't know if i'm too happy with this liner it's kind of like on its way out it's kind of drying up so that's okay we're gonna go in with the Too faced better than sex mascara this is gold right here this is seriously mascara gold i don't know how else to say it <laughs> i have a mini of the waterproof version and I'm very interested in that. And I would really like to try it out, but I don't want to open it just yet. <laughs> this is a really cute look overall. It's kind of more on the bold side. So if you are, you know, more of a neutral kind of person, this may not be the best fit for you. That's okay, though. That's okay. But we're going to use some lipstick. I kind of want to blot this off because I don't like when I have too much lip balm on. And then I put lipstick over the top. And everything just kind kind of seems to like just slip and slide all over the place. I don't like that. Maybe we'll use some of this. This is just like such a nice tie. And like having like a warm brownish shade is always great to tie in with a nice warm toned look. This is from the Frozen 2 ColourPop collection. I have a whole review on this and I will link it down below for you. But this is a great lipstick. Any lipstick from ColourPop is really great. Um... This is called Going North. I'm not sure if this is still available on the website, but if it is, definitely pick it up. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, look how that just ties in. Ooh, yeah. And these lipsticks, I think, are nine or ten bucks. They don't break the bank, and you can usually find, like, a code to get some money off. Well, I'm not sure if it works on the Disney stuff, because sometimes, like, these collections are, some of these, like, more limited edition specialty collections don't always like get the discount but yeah even if still 10 bucks is not bad we'll use a little bit of this this is from Fenty Beauty it's part of their holiday collection which I'm pretty sure it's still on the website like I checked like a week ago and it was but this is the hot chalk lit so it's instead of c-h-o-c-o-l-a-t-e it's l-i-t for like lit it's a little weird, but it's just like a brownish gloss. I love the Fenty gloss bombs. They're so beautiful. And they smell so good. Even if it's a cute little mini, they still work. Look at that. Like, this is such like a, oof, like going out to get groceries because everything is closed. So, okay, there we go. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, follow me on social media, and watch some more videos of mine. Um, giving me a thumbs up always helps me out. It helps YouTube recommend my videos for other people. So go ahead and do that. And if you have any requests, leave them in the comments below, and I'm more than happy to do them. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.